Hello, my name is Caleb Blake. I'm a software engineer on the Microsoft Visual Studio editor team. And today I'll be giving you a quick look at a new feature in development for Copilot called Adaptive Paste. The idea behind Adaptive Paste is simple but powerful. We aim to minimize the manual tweaks you typically have to make after pasting code. Instead, it intelligently suggests edits to better fit the surrounding context, saving you both time and effort. Keep in mind this feature is still in preview and is only available in version 1714 preview. What you're seeing today is just a glimpse of what to come as it continues to evolve. Let's dive into a quick example. Here we have a math class that implements iMath. We have an error saying that we do not implement the interface at member floor. Adaptive Paste can handle this for us. We can simply copy the scaling method, paste the method, and you should see tab to adapt code. Pressing tab will send a request to Copilot in a few moments. You'll get a response with a diff, and you see here that we implement floor and simply pressing tab accepts the change. This is not all Adaptive Paste can do. It can also handle things like code translations. In this file, I have a collection of programming problem solutions, and I have one here in a different language. This is Python. I can copy this code, paste it into my file, press tab to adapt, and in a few moments, it will be translated to C Sharp. In this example, I want to show you how to use Adaptive Paste in a more practical application. I'm in the eShop repo, and I want to make some changes to the Customer Basket API. I'm going to start with a test. There's a few tests defined here, but there's some refactoring that we can do in preparation for the new API calls. So first, you see that there's this mock repository in this server call context, and it's shared across each one of these tests. I prefer it to be in a field on the test class rather than defined each time in the method. So with adaptive paste, I can copy, paste, and then hit tab to adapt. And given the context, it knows that we want to make it a read-only field. Okay, that's cool. Let's also do that with the server call context. Same process, we copy this, we paste, we tab, and there we go. And lastly, we're going to do it for the HTTP context. Great. Now I want to adjust my test methods so that they now use the new members. Adaptive Paste can also do this. If we simply copy the body of the method, press tab to adapt, you'll see given the new context, it makes the proper adjustments to use the read-only fields. Let's do that for the remaining methods. Great. Let's move on to the implementation. I've already updated the definitions. I had to add a basket ID to some of the existing API calls, as well as add create and list basket async. I also added a ID field to the customer basket so we can identify the unique baskets. The bulk of the change will happen in this Redis basket repository and the basket service. To start, we need to update the basket key to take a basket ID as well. If I copy this line and paste, Adaptive Paste will implement the remaining work we need. Uh, we'll see that everywhere else we called get basket ID has not been updated. Just to show you, again, copy and that will update it right away. And if I copy the file and paste, it'll do the same. Notice that on update basket async, it even knows to use the ID on the customer basket. This is because we provide semantic context to Adaptive Paste so that it can more intelligently provide you suggestions. Let's move on to the basket service. Here we have some errors in the file and we need to add some API calls that we've added to the, to the interface. So Adaptive Paste can help us with this. If I copy the method and paste, hit tab to adapt, in moments we'll get the suggestion. Notice that it pulls the basket ID from the request. That's because we provide semantic context to the model so we can more intelligently provide you suggestions. We can do the same thing for the update call and for delete. Notice that in delete, it added this call to the logger. That is because it's staying consistent within the file. Delete was actually missing this call to the logger. Adaptive Paste picked up on that and implemented that for us. This was a small example of how to use Adaptive Paste, but 
but hopefully it gives you some practical ideas of how you can apply it in your day-to-day -day workflow. Really excited for everyone to try it and uh, please provide feedback using the links below. Thank you. Thank <music> you.